Hi guys, this is Jude from EasyTex. If you are running Windows 11 on an unsupported device, you might have come across this conflicting update notification on your taskbar. It says your version of Windows 11 has reached end of service. Click to download a newer version of Windows 11 to stay supported. And when you click on that, it takes you to this Windows update page, which ironically says you are up to date. And right beneath that, it says your device is missing important security updates. Here, when you click on this check for update button, it either downloads nothing or if it's the first time you are trying it, it may download and install other possible updates. But in the end, it brings you back to this notification saying your device is missing important security updates. And you will still have this update icon on your taskbar saying your version of Windows 11 has reached end of service. Now, this shouldn't come as a big surprise if you are running Windows 11 on an unsupported device. More specifically, a device that lacks the TPM 2.0 and the secure boot requirements. And just to briefly recap on these two requirements, the TPM 2.0, which is short for Trusted Platform Module, is a hardware-based security feature designed to store cryptographic keys, enhance system integrity, and enable security features like BitLocker encryption, Windows Defender System Guard, and Windows Hello, among others. While Secure Boot is a feature on the Unified Extensible Firmware Interface, that's a UEFI, that ensures only signed and trusted software like an operating system bootloader can be executed during boot process. So basically these two features or requirements are both related to security. And now Microsoft has released an update that is specifically tailored to the security features. Their absence obviously hinders the implementation of these security updates. So what can you do about this? There are a few options. First, you want to check that this is actually happening due to system limitations and not because one or both of these features are turned off for some reasons. Normally, laptops with 8th generation or later Intel processors support these features. A few 7th gen Intel processors also support these features. You can see them on the screen. So computers with these processors can also run Windows 11 seamlessly. For AMDs, it needs to be at least 3000 series or later to meet these requirements and run Windows 11. To verify that your computer indeed meets these requirements, press the window key plus R to open your run dialog box. Then type in tpm.msc and hit enter. Now this should open up your TPM information. Here where it says specification version, ensure it says at least 2.0. If it is 1.2 like on this laptop, then it doesn't meet the requirement. Next is the secure boot option to check if your PC supports secure boot. Open the run dialog box once again and type in MS Info 32 and hit enter. Then on this page, search for where it says secure boot state and ensure it says on or active. Now if any of these two features are disabled, then you need to put into your BIOS settings to change that. This process will differ depending on the layout of your BIOS settings, but basically you just need to find these two settings and ensure that they are marked as active. For instance, on this Acer Nitro 5, which is an 8th gen Intel processor, when I boot into the BIOS and go to the boot tab, I can see here that the secure boot is enabled. If not, then I need to enable it. Same also goes for the TPM. Here that is found under the security tab. Again, as you can see, the TPM stick says enabled. So this laptop is good to go. Now, if either the secure boot or TPM is disabled, then your computer won't be able to download and install the security update, even though it has an 8th generation or later processor. Now, if you have verified that your computer does not support the TPM 2.0 and or secure boot features, hence doesn't officially support Windows 11, then there are a few options. One is to simply do nothing. Yes, security updates are essential, but not being able to install these particular security updates from Microsoft doesn't mean that all the other security features on your Windows suddenly become ineffective. It simply means that when you get exposed to these particular security threats that the updates are meant to protect against, then your device could be vulnerable. So your computer will continue to work as normal and will still be able to install other updates that don't require the TPM 2.0 or Secure Boot. The second option would be to go back to Windows 10. Now I understand that this is not what most users want to hear because they already ignore that option by installing Windows 11. But then if you think about it from the security perspective, Windows 10 is still fully supported by Microsoft until October 2025. 
So that could give you substantial time to plan an upgrade to a Windows 11 supported device while still enjoying the full benefits and security of Windows 10. The third option would be to override your current Windows installation with the latest Windows version while keeping your apps and data. So basically updating your Windows to the latest build through an installation process. Now this is not a means to bypass the requirements and obtain the security features that couldn't be updated on the current build, but it is a means to obtain the latest version of Windows 11 and get rid of these notifications saying your Windows 11 has reached end of service. To do this, you will need a USB stick, at least 16 GB in size, and also Rufus for creating the installation media. Now you need to ensure you have no data or files on the USB drive. So with my USB stick ready, I'll go ahead and download Rufus. I'll just get the latest version. Then next, you need to download the ISO file for the latest Windows 11 edition. For that, I'll go to Google and search, download Windows 11. Here, I'll click on the link from Microsoft. Now here, you can't use the installation assistant if your device doesn't meet the requirements for Windows 11. If you try to do that, you will end up with this page asking you to run PC Health Check, which will of course say your device doesn't meet the requirements. So here, we need to download the ISO file. So here I'll scroll down to where it says download Windows 11 disk image ISO. Click on the drop down and select Windows 11. Here I'll click on download now. Then select your preferred language. And then click on the 64 bit download button to start the download process for the ISO file. Now this will take some time, it's about 5 GB in size, so wait patiently for the download to complete. After downloading the ISO file, attach your USB stick to the computer and then run Rufus. In Rufus, Select your USB drive and then click on this select button to select your ISO file from the location where you saved it. Afterwards, you can leave all the other options and settings as defaults and then click on start. Now this is an important section. Here you need to ensure that these first two options are selected. This will remove the TPM 2.0 and secure boot requirements as well as the need for a Microsoft account. Except of course if you want to use your Microsoft account during the setup, then you don't need to select, you don't need to uncheck the second option. Now for the other options, they pretty much state what they do, so you can decide if they are relevant to your use case or not. In my case, I want fast installation, so I will have all the options selected, and then hit OK to begin the creation process. Here it reminds me that all the data on the disk could be lost. Do I wish to continue? Yes, I do. So I'll hit OK to continue the process. Okay, so now I have my installation media ready. So the next step would be to run the installation process. For that, I'll open the USB drive and then double click on the setup.exe file. Hit yes on the user account control. Here I'll accept the license terms. And then from here, the rest of the process is just the same as regular Windows installation. But there's an important part I would like to emphasize on, so let's continue. So after the update checks and installation, it gets to this stage where it says ready to install. Here, as you can see, the option to install Windows 11 Pro is automatically selected. So also the option to keep personal files and apps. Now, if for some reason this option to keep personal files and apps are not selected in your case, you should click on this change what to keep. And here ensure you select keep personal files and apps and then hit next to continue the process now from here just proceed with regular installation processes this takes quite some time so you need to wait for each process to complete here again it does some updates and then finally you have this page again ready to install here just click on the install button and wait for the process to complete
Afterwards, I'm back to my desktop. As you can see, all my apps and settings are very much intact. Now I will check what version of Windows 11 I have after this update. And here, as you can see, I now have the latest Windows 11 build, that's the 24H2. Also, as you might have noticed, the notification on my taskbar is gone. And when I go to my update, it now says I'm up to date. No more warnings on security updates. Everything looks good. Now, while this is a good relief, obviously, it's not a permanent solution. And that brings me to the final and most permanent solution to this problem. Yep, you guessed it upgrading your device to a newer generation now i know how frustrating it can be that microsoft is forcing us to give up on all these older devices that still solve our problems with absolute convenience however if having the most up-to-date features and security measures are top priority for you then this is a good time to start planning for an upgrade to at least an 8 gen intel processor or a 3000 series ryzen this way you can seamlessly keep your device up to date with the latest system and security features and if you are worried about how to move your apps, settings, and customizations to a new computer, the Ease Us To Do PC Trans tool comes in very handy. This tool allows you to seamlessly move your apps, including their settings and customizations, from one Windows device to another. That way you don't have to go through the hassle of setting up your apps from the scratch after upgrading to another computer. I will leave a link to a full tutorial I made on this tool as well as the links to obtain this tool down in the video description. And that is it for this tutorial. Hope this was able to help you out. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful and share with anyone you think might want to see. Drop us a comment if you have any questions or feedbacks. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications on future tech support videos like this one. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.